after watching the, the WBC World Baseball Classic, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, one of the craziest things we've ever seen in sports, which makes you wonder, do we need an international tournament for hockey? Do we need the Olympics back? Do we need the World Cup of Hockey back? I don't know how we're going to do it, but I personally think we do. What about you, Christian? I mean, I don't think our answer has ever changed, really. With, like, I don't know if we're having an epiphany here after the WBC, because I think we were all on the same boat in the first place. Uh, hell yes, we do need international hockey. It only reinforced the opinion that much more. It was fairy tale stuff in the WBC there. Stuff that other sports could only uh, dream of having um, in their own tournaments. Um, and, and, and the nature of baseball makes it where it's unlikely for those types of scenarios to arise in other sports. Closest is probably the World Cup, honestly, where we had Messi and Mbappe. These are teammates. They're the two phenoms of, of one generation versus another meeting in the finals. They have the games of their lives in said final. Probably as close as it gets. It, with the nature of hockey, I don't know if you can have like an, a direct parallel, but with hockey, it is more to the countries themselves, right? It's Canada versus USA. Baseball is a little bit more individualistic because it's one-on-one -on -one matchups. If there was less hype for... U.S. versus Japan, opposed to Otani versus Trout. But yeah, I mean, McDavid came out and he said, listen, did you guys see Otani versus Trout? Asking the media as if, like, we weren't watching. McDavid's a hockey robot, so I don't blame him if he thinks people might not know stuff. Right? Uh, McDavid has been on this for a while, even um, during, uh, during COVID, when we were supposed to go to the Olympics, and then there was the COVID shutdown that prevented us. Um, he's been decently vocal. And I'm sure there's other players who have been internally that we ne might necessarily have heard of. But yeah, we need international tournament. And we need a legitimate tournament that players care for. I think that's the, the thing at the heart of the WBC. Those guys cared immensely about the tournament. Because they cared, we as fans cared. So it's great to see McDavid say, I want this. I care about this. This matters to me. Because when the best player cares about it, I bet your ass is going to be other ones that want to be teammates with McDavid on Team Canada or go up against him. So, I mean, it can go on and on, but let me some other opinions here. It's a, it's a definite yes, we need an hockey guy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's ever been in doubt that, like, um, that, we, that we do need some sort. Like, like, some of my earliest memories of watching hockey is, is that 2010 um, – <sighs> The Vancouver Olympics, like the golden goal, right? And and I think for a lot of the newer hockey generation, that is also everybody's like every Canadian kid has at one time owned a piece of like a picture of that, you know, Crosby celebrating after he scores scored an OT. Like that's probably the closest thing I could say as a country in terms of sports that we've we've really ever like come together. Like you could just feel everybody wants to be there. And speaking of countries unifying like if you looked at um japan's watch uh, it's like the viewership for the wbc dude they had like oh, it was like 97 percent of working televisions in japan had the had their the the program set to the w wbc that's like well over 60 million people were watching like the entire country of japan like just to, like you can't like I can't even fathom how many like what that would even look like you know what I mean so if, if you get like like you said of course Christian you get players to care and it seems that you know if you have the best player in the world who seems to care it, that will definitely trickle down to his Canadian teammates to his Russian teammates to his well if they if they get to play uh to his American uh American teammates as well right uh, like there's nothing better than a good Canada versus U.S. matchup. It's the it's the one thing everybody looks forward to when we watch the World Juniors, right? We we don't have a vested interest in a lot of those kids that are playing in the World Juniors tournament, but what we have a vested interest is is how we're developing our youngsters, right? And it's it's a sense of pride. So when you get a big international tournament where you're able to to let, like let your stars loose uh you know like for me and christian our favorite player right now is an american so it's gonna it's gonna come with some challenges right we're gonna have to cheer against you know the guy that i've you know fell in love watching over the past seven years but it's something that you do because it's 
you know, it's a sense of pride, honestly, and I love that. I my take on this is that yes, we obviously do need an international tournament, and how ripped off are hockey fans? You know, we just got off the World Cup, like what six months ago, three mm-hmm. months ago. We just got off the WBC, which happened like what a week ago. It's international yeah. tournaments, it's like it's like every how, country gets to enjoy. Right? How ripped off? Bry, how ripped off are are the hockey players as well? Like, it's not even just us. Like, these guys want to do it, like, do it too. Like, they, McDavid's never represented Canada at a senior a level. Proper senior Other level. Other than probably tournament. like world championships, but like, that doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think, did he ever play in the, the world championship? I think he did, probably one of the early years where, um, where Edmonton didn't make the playoffs. I want to say at least once he has. And there's just one more thing I just wanted to bring up. Um, it's a small thing. It's not a major thing, but you guys mentioned McDavid. Isn't it kind of weird how McDavid will probably never get to play with Crosby? And isn't it kind of weird how Kane will never play with Hughes? The way we're going at now. I feel. I feel like Crosby is the type of guy who will stick around as long as he knows that opportunity is going to come. Like if we get a verbal promise out of Batman or whatever that okay, either a, a most couple of hockey is happening or we're going to be going to the next Olympics. Crosby's the type of guy that will he'll extend his lifetime for that moment, right? And we, we talk about players being robbed, specifically Crosby. How many uh, gold medals does he have? Just the one? In t- no, he's got two. 2010 and 2014. It's possible that this guy could have retired with five or six. I'd be gone to every Olympic cycle. How crazy is that, right? They start on 2018, 2022, and he might be there for 2026. Pray to God. Um, it's it's really sad to think about, and I think listen, the World Baseball Classic is not the Olympics. I don't necessarily know if it has to be the Olympics for hockey. Yes, there is a history at the Olympics. That's where the majority of the best tournaments have been. But the way World Baseball Classic is a template that you can build on and bring to your sport, where it doesn't have to be under the Olympic banner. And I think that's something the NHL would obviously prefer because that means they're the ones making the revenue, right? Um, we don't need the gimmicky teams anymore. We do not need a team North America. We do not need a team Europe. Look at the World Baseball Classic. I believe there were 16 countries. There was a bunch of countries that maybe had one or two big leaguers on it. I was talking like Italy, Netherlands, um, Great China, Britain. right? Uh, oh, the, the UK, dude, yeah. The Czech team. The Czech team had like part-time plumbers. One guy is like a a professor in in the Czech, like. And do you see anybody caring about that? Like, oh, this is a this is a disgrace to the sport. Oh, what the hell? No, that doesn't exist. There was only enthusiasm for the World Baseball Classic, as far as I could tell. Um, and that is an event run by the MLB, right? And so it, it's not like it has to be exclusive to NHL players. It, it wasn't in 2016 for the World Cup of Hockey. It wouldn't have to be the same. I, I've, I've looked at it myself. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe hockey can go 16 countries deep. We could do 10. You could do two, um, two groups of five, round robin. You could totally, totally do that. And that's without the elephant in the room, Russia. If they have to skip out a tournament, you can still do this. You've got Canada, you've got US, you've got Finland, you've got Sweden, you've got Czech Republic, you've got Denmark, you've got Switzerland, you've got Germany, you've got Slovakia. I'm at nine right there. I'm missing one team, Latvia, if you want. There's a couple Latvia. Yeah, probably, probably, probably one of ten. those Eastern European teams. There's your ten. These are those. Every single one of those countries I mentioned have NHL players on it. If if the other sixteen players on the team aren't from the NHL, I think it's okay, and I think we'd love that. So I'm all in. Get it going because, man, we need some best best hockey. Fingers crossed that we get that soon.